everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are new here then i welcome you if you love watching handbag videos and a little bit of this and that then certainly hit the subscribe button but let's go ahead and jump into this video so today y'all i am coming to you all with another dooney and burke reveal as well as the what's in my bag. It may seem like I'm on a roll with these Dooney and Burke purchases, but I assure you that I am really, really, really being good, okay? <laughs> like literally this is probably, yes, this is actually my second purchase for 2023. So I did purchase the Target Black History Month bag first. That was my very first bag for 2023. And now this beauty right here is my second y'all. And I am going to go ahead and say y'all that I have none other than my tribe sister, Dooney Addict 615 to thank for this purchase. She had did a video a few weeks ago letting us know about the I Love Dooney amazing sale that they were running. So I did go on the website, you know, just for um, kicks and giggles <laughs> to see if they had any bags that I had on my wish list. And y'all, my eyes, I thought they were really playing tricks on me when I saw this bag because I had only seen this bag on the actual Dooney and Burke website. And although it had been on sale a few times, I had never seen it for such a low price, y'all, let alone on the I Love Dooney site. So when I saw this beautiful bag for $188, y'all, yeah, you heard me right. It was $188. I had to go ahead and pull the trigger on it. Now, I will say, y'all, this is one of those bags. I kind of hesitated on for the longest just because of the mixed reviews, but... All of that was put to rest, y'all, when I actually got to see a Hattie in person, thanks to my sister DJ King. Um, I was able to see her Hattie and then just talking to other tribe sisters um, and learning more about their bags, I knew that this bag was for me. So let me introduce y'all to this beautiful baby here. This is the Zuni Emberg Hattie in the Bordeaux color. And this is in the beautiful Florentine leather, y'all. Now, I'm pretty sure the camera is picking up her love licks because I have been carrying her and I have been loving her. Um, And that's the thing, y'all. If you are not a fan of scratches on your leather, then Florentine is not for you. Um, And that's okay because Dooney has a lot of different options when it comes to these types of texture for their bags. But um, I love it. I really do love it, y'all. And I will go ahead and insert how this bag looked before I carried it. Y'all, this bag was so smooth. Um, and it still is smooth. It was smooth and, you know, no scratches on it. Like, Dooney did right with this one. They did so right with this one, y'all. Um, so, I want to go ahead and read y'all off the measurements of this bag. And I will come back and do a comparison, y'all, between this one and my Buckley. Because when I was doing research on this bag, I was kind of trying to gauge the size of both of them. But that'll be in another video. So to get started, y'all, this bag does come with this beautiful wide strap, which I absolutely love. Now, let me tell y'all, when I first carried this bag, I was like, oh, wow. This bag is really nice. Like, it is not weighing down on my shoulders. And, like, is this really a Florentine bag? After, like, 20, 30 minutes, I was like, okay, yeah, my shoulders are hurting. This is definitely Florentine. <laughs> so, um, yes, I did take this bag on a shopping trip. But, um, yeah, I won't be doing that anymore because... Especially not on a long one because, yeah, my little shoulders was definitely hurting. Now, the strap drop on this is 16 inches, which I think is an amazing length. Um, I love how it hits me on my body. One thing about this strap, though, is, y'all, it does come with this little um, lobster claw situation here, or lobster claps. I don't know what you call it, <laughs> but um, it is really pretty, y'all. I love this. Um, on one side, as you can see, it actually says Dooney and Burke. And then on the other side, let's see if I can do this. On the other side, you get your the Dooney and Burke Duck logo. 
So I really love that you can wear it on either side. However, y'all, typically with me, I like to carry my bags on my left side because I am a lefty and that I just feel comfortable that way. With this bag though, and with this clasp being like this, I did carry this bag on the right side just because I wanted this to be more so against me, like in the front of me instead of the back of me. Because if it's in the, in the uh, back of me, someone can easily just go like this and then my bag is gone. So um, just for security purposes, I did carry this bag on my right side. Now, with this being a drawstring bag too, y'all, I really love how tight this drawstring goes. As y'all can see, I have it pretty tight. And look at that. You can barely see on the inside of my bag. Like, it is so perfect. I love that. And I love how this drawstring just hangs the string hangs down so nicely this bag does come with feet at the bottom also so i love that about this bag too and i will go ahead and read off the dimensions of the actual bag so let me pull it up here on my ipad so the width of this bag is six inches in width and then when it comes to the height of this bag y'all it is 12 inches in height and then the length of this bag is 10 inches. So it is a decent size. So let's go ahead and get into this bag, y'all. I do want to show y'all what fits in here. Um, I did actually post this bag on my Instagram feed. And a lot of y'all wanted to see what fits. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into that. And thank you all, too, who requested that. Um, I was actually in the process of filming my coach haul. But pause to do this video since so many of you all requested it. So um, let's get on in here. Now, I did carry this bag out today, y'all, because I had to run a few errands. So me and baby boy was out while the other two were in school. So the first thing, y'all, that I have in here is this receipt from Popeye's. Me and little man did eat Popeye's for lunch today. And then um, the next thing I have in here is my Dunienberg Safiano Black Coin Purse. I absolutely love this. I rave about it all of the time, y'all. But this thing right here is actually holding my keys, y'all. And y'all know how y'all, like, I usually only have one or two keys. Well, we recently moved into a home, and yeah, the keys are like so plenty now. Like, I don't understand. Before we were living in a town home, and I loved it because it was a smart house, right? So we didn't really need house keys or anything. Um, but when my husband um, built this house, he was like, yeah, we're not doing that. So like he literally has keys for all the doors and I'm like, why? <laughs> so yeah, that is all that's in there. So now I can definitely get a lot more use, I guess, out of my six ring key holder from Louis Vuitton. <laughs> oh man. So the next thing I have in here is a pamper. Now, I did actually carry, or a diaper, I'm sorry. Um, I did carry Little Man's bag, too, but I kept it in the car and just put, like, the things that we would need at the moment um, in my bag. So, the next thing that I have in here is his snacks. He loves those. And then I also put these Cheetos in here as well. We had to go and get an oil change, y'all, and we were there for three hours, so... We had a lot more snacks in here, so yeah, this bag was like perfect. You know, it was crazy too, y'all, because at first I considered switching into my um, one of my Liz's since we were going to be out and I wanted to carry more stuff, but I was like, you know what? No, I'm going to give Hattie a chance and I'm going to see how Hattie holds, and I'm going to see how Hattie holds up. And let me tell y'all, Hattie did the thing today. I'm just so impressed with her. And let me make sure I still have her in the frame. Okay. So then the next thing I have in here is my Louis Vuitton pocket agenda. I am trying to use this as my on-the-go agenda. And let me tell y'all, it has not disappointed me. I love it so much. I will definitely be buying um, inserts again for next year because I've just like really been loving it, y'all. I have really, really been loving this thing. All right, so then I also have a baby bottle top in there. I have my Dior Sunnies. And I'll go ahead and give y'all another glance of how it's looking so far. 
All right, I have my manicure set. I have my toilet tissue and y'all this came in handy today um I had to go to the bathroom while waiting for my oil change and they didn't have any tissue in there like none at all which was kind of like um shocking because there was two uh people that went in before me and they came out like with no issues and stuff so I don't know if they use up the tissues or if they use tissue at all I don't know but I'm glad I have mine <laughs> yes I am not gonna be caught slipping <laughs> and speaking of not being caught slipping I also had my umbrella with me y'all because here um the weather is always changing and it, you know it can rain at any moment so definitely had to have this umbrella with me All right, and then the next thing I have in here is this little Mac pa uh, pouch. I did get this as a gift a few years ago, y'all, and this was actually holding my candies, which are no longer in here because Kaya and I ate them all. The only thing that's left is chewing gum. Like, yeah, we were we were snacking <laughs> while waiting. Um, okay, so I just want to make sure I stay in the frame, y'all. Okay, so the next thing I have in here is my wallet. So I did not purchase a Bordeaux wallet even though there was one available because I wanted to use what I already have and this MCM wallet I felt went really great with this bag, y'all. Um, I will later leave a photo of my accessories together so that y'all can see how everything blended in. But this wallet worked out great for me. I absolutely love it. And then the next thing I have in here is my catch-all slash makeup pouch. Um, Y'all, I love this cosmetic case. If Coach comes out with any more solid colors, I will definitely be purchasing them because I just love this thing so, so much, y'all. And I won't bore y'all with like what all I have in it because it's pretty much the same stuff. But I will go ahead and show you at a glance everything that I have in here. And I love this thing, y'all, because it does even come with, like, side pockets. So that is how that's looking. And my tissues are out like this, y'all, because Little Man ripped the pack. So I just slipped it down in there like so. But, yeah, that's that. Um, And then I also have my little charging port in here. This is my iWalk. I love this thing, y'all. Um, I probably should have carried my Halo today as well because I know my Halo gives me a full charge and this one only gives me about a 40% charge. And look, I can't even open it now. But it definitely came in handy today. It is actually now dead because I had to use it while waiting. But here it goes. So super cute. And this is the charging cable that comes with it. And then the Hattie does come with pockets as well, y'all. So, make sure. Oh, I want to make sure y'all can see all of the bag. So, here on this side, I do have this little mini composition book. And then here in the zip pocket here, I just have... Let me just pull this stuff out. I have the tag, the registration... And I have a um, feminine product. And then here in this little baggie is just my little miniature first aid kit. Yeah, nothing special. And then I have a toilet seat cover. So that is everything that was in this pocket here, y'all. And this pocket is so awesome, y'all. It is actually like a nylon material. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty neat. And then on the other side of the bag, you do get two more pockets. So here in this pocket, I do have my sanitizer. And then in the other pocket, I have a wet one. So that's everything that I had in the pockets, y'all. Um, This bag does come with the key keeper. And I did not utilize that. 
but that is how the bag is in a glance y'all so as y'all can see it's still nice and clean i really love the hattie too y'all because it does come with this um leather lining this cream leather lining which i think is so luxe and they top it off with the green suede um at the top like this is just such a gorgeous bag y'all um i can definitely see myself getting more hatties in the future i do want a ginger one if they ever come out with one in the meantime and in between time i'm just gonna love on miss bordeaux here yeah y'all that is that so I do hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions about it, definitely leave it in the comments below. Um, and let me know too, if you have any, if you have a Hattie, if you do, how are you loving it? Um, have you all been shopping Dooney at all? Also, I would love to know that too in the comments. What What's catching your eye right now? Um, if you all enjoyed this video, then certainly give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.